Today I take you with me in the world of fantastic peace. Zuwu is said to resemble a gigantic elephant sized cat and is five colored. It is a monstrously large feeling beast as big as an elephant, with a striped body, scraggly mane, four fangs that curl out of its mouth, long sharp claws and its disproportionately long ruffled multicolored tail. Zuwus are incredibly powerful and fast, capable of traveling 1000 miles in a day. Take our materials, the super flexible cosplay and our work tools. Everything will always start with a ball of polymer clay and the small holes for the eyes. I found these eyes on AliExpress and they are very suitable for creating of this fantastic beast. As I cut the shape of the moth, I felt observant. It almost looked like the shish-sized cat. Now I add a little expression to this funny little head. Eyebrows gives the finer look. And of course, the big nose from Zubu. I want to start to give some hints of pure texture. Previously, I prepared and cooked the teeth with translucent femo, so that they are easier to insert into the holes that I have prepared. Then I modeled the larger teeth thickening out of the mouth with translucent femo polymer clay. Oh my god, what is a tongueless mouth? Here I forgot to do it. So I removed my lower teeth and I did it all over again. It can be happen to forget details every now and then when you have only one neuron that malfunctions in your head. With two triangles of polymer clay, we create the ears which are very long and pointed. The armor is the most important part of our creation, never forget to do it the best you can, it is the basic of our creature, without it everything will fall or go limp. To keep it even better, I wrap the paper tape all around the structure. And after, I coat everything with aluminum foil. Obviously, it always happens to have a problem with these rolls. Damn. Oh well, let's not think about it. Now let's cover the whole structure with paper tape. At this point, there is the most unpleasant part of all, coating every inch of our armor with polymer clay, paying attention to all the joints. When we create any creature, we must take into account its musculature and its anatomy. Otherwise, everything will be very, very fake, and without a bit of anatomy, we don't go much further if you also want to create larger creations. The pose of the zoo are very large and require some mastery in modeling, but with patience, everyone can manage to make perfect pose.
While I'm creating the body of this tight gigantic cat, I realized that the proportions of the head were totally wrong. It was too small, damn. But let's not lose heart. In these cases, you can make a new head or enlarge it a little with some small tricks. Done! Now it's perfect! <laughs> We roll out a beautiful sheet of polymer clay and go out make many strips to create the tail of the zoo. The tail is the most difficult part of this creation. I assure you that I sweat like a camel in the middle of the African desert. Now I start to give in all the details to our giant cat. I really enjoyed creating this tufts of fair. To make them more realistic, it is important to create the tufts of fair one by one and make them of different size and then assemble them. Wait a minute, it's a baby oil? Oh, curse, baby oil! <laughs> the oil is used to create textures more easily on surfaces, or is used to smooth the surfaces of our creation. Obviously, don't use too much oil, just one drop at a time on your brush. We don't have to be cats. Now you see. Finally, the time has come. We have to paint everything. Zoo has different shades of colors in, on its fur, but especially on its tail. It's absurd, believe me.
remember those golden Christmas threads that you saw at the beginning? What about wool? Well, time has come to arm yourself with patience and use them for next step or creation. Zeus main becomes electrified when he is excited and when he makes his dimensional jump to reach long distances. We saw it in the movie just when it escaped from the Ministry of Ma French Magic. Do you remember it? Well, how are we going to create this effect? Keep watching and you will find out. Oh, please be careful with the odd gun glue. It burns. Here is our fury puppy with an absurd tail. After 4 days of work and 27 gigabytes of video shot. family welcome back on my channel thank you for being here and thank you for seeing my video my time-lapse tutorial of the zoo from fantastic beasts have you seen the flexibility of this this tail it's amazing it's only possible with the amazing cosplay so if you like this video put a like and subscribe on the channel and activate the bell it's really important for me and if you like more share the video on your social with your friends and family the zoo is finally here and i, I i'm really happy really really happy okay see you in the next video friday with a live show here at 3 and 30 pm italy time and the next video tutorial on wednesday at 3 and 30 pm italy time thank you so much see you next week ciao